All right, so Alan's challenging me to yet another competition where uh, he thinks that he can beat me in some stones, but you guys know, I'm fairly decent of a stoner myself, and uh, I'm gonna prove him wrong at his own home turf where he will shave his beard in disgrace in front of all of these people and fans here. We're doing a sandbag, sandbag slash medicine ball toss. Joe's got, and some of the other members have got uh, USS Nats. They're doing a sandbag over bar. And uh, I guess we go this way. And uh, so we're doing that. What's the height and uh, weight we got going on right now? Right now we're at 16 feet. We got a 10, 20, 30 pound medicine ball and a 25 pound sandbag. Uh, we'll actually do the sandbag next, now that we're warmed up. <coughs> ah! wow. Reach up to the sky. Oh. As soon as I let go of the 30, the last one, you'll hit time. Okay? okay? And I'm gonna beat that strength there. Okay. Ready, set, go. Five nine five. Oh my god. Right. 20, 25. 30. Okay, it's on Tara. Uh, so as soon as he lets go of the 30, you'll hit time. Got it. Ready? Set? Go. <laughs> oh, dude. 514. Ah! Oh, you beat me? No, I got 595. Ah. <laughs> so you beat me. The throw. Set? Go. Holy oh. crap. <laughs> Did that go over? Uh, the second one? The second one didn't go. Yeah. Set, go. Ah! Uh. Oh, dude, oh. that's got. I... All right, let's see it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you got it. I got it. Nice, dude. Oh. That was tough. <laughs> what are you working on, Nadia? Uh, I, I'm messing around. I'm trying to get this uh, weight. You can get it. Uh, Nadia, Nadia, where are you from? Moldova. Where's that? Between Romania and Ukraine, Eastern Europe. When did you come to the States? Uh, first time, 2006, then 2007. So. Very cool. Did you strength train over there? No, I was actually not allowed to do any kind of workout because I'm a girl and I'm supposed to be in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, well, you're not in the kitchen anymore. <laughs> you're slaying some iron. It's amazing. Yeah, no, we were not allowed to uh, work out there. So I'm going to work on some log a little bit. Uh, maybe work up to something a little bit heavy today. See how my body feels. Kind of working through a little bit of shoulder pain. Uh, but see what we can get today. It's going to be fun. There's a ton of people here, so the environment's great. And it's going to be a good one. Grippy. Uh, what are you working on? I'm gonna do a continental cleaning press. 
I've been doing push press on my day four for a few weeks. Uh, so I figured I'm gonna actually do some strongman stuff. Clean, uh, overhead, axle center press with the new axle bar, MB Power Center. 75 pound axle and it's smooth. Solid. Push trigger push trigger? Push. Oh, I, I fucking hate, hate the split trigger. You hate it? Well, I just am not good at it. I went to that. You're your split trigger little thing from Occam, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. That's the heaviest log that's been pressed here at Untamed Strength. 350. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Nice! How much weight? 275. 275, baby! <laughs> Uh, stronger, stronger this year. Looking for a 700 pound deadlift and a 600 pound squat this year. I think Untamed Strength is the place to find it. I think it's the good place. How long have you been training here? I've been training here now about three years. What's your favorite part of Untamed? The crowd? Yeah. You will never find a more encouraging, hard working crowd of people. If you come to Untamed Strength, you will always be not the best at something. Yeah. There's always somebody you're gonna be striving to be better than, which I think is the most important thing in any gym. So always have somebody that pushes you, and you always have that here. Oh, 
What would Thanos do? <laughs> fucking destroy the party. Snap these deadlifts out of existence. Yes, exactly. Get tight! Get tight! Come on! There we go. <gasps> We can learn something from him. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> 200. 240. challenging me to yet another competition where uh, he thinks that he can beat me in some stones but you guys know I'm fairly decent of a stoner myself and uh, I'm gonna prove him wrong at his own home turf where he will shave his beard in disgrace in front of all of these people and fans here. What do you guys say about that Alan? How are you feeling right now? Fuck you. I failed. Come on. Yes. Nice. Oh my gosh, we have Silent Mike. This is the first time I've actually met Silent Mike. Uh, I've seen him all the time on the internet, so it's pretty cool. But Silent Mike, introduce yourself. Um, people call me Silent Mike. My name is Mike Farr. Uh, I lift some weights for a lot of years, coach some people for a lot of years. Uh, been on the internet for a while, I'm doing some podcasts on YouTube, Instagram, whatever the heck that is. Uh, background's really in powerlifting, pretty specifically, but strength and conditioning before that with basketball and rugby and work with different guys. Um, grew up here in Sacramento. Real close to Alan Thrall, but we didn't become friends maybe until three, four years ago. Train it untamed when I can. Lift some heavy weights when I can. And that's all I got. That's me. Give us some advice, okay, for someone who wants to be training for the long term. And maybe like a skewed misperception yeah. with training that you have found, because you got a lot of years under your belt. Uh, and just maybe like the journey and kind of just talk to them on like a real personal side with like, you know, just training in general. Yeah, not not to get like too deep, um, but I think in America especially, but around the world, we find ourselves in this tribe culture, which is natural human, it's great. Connor trains West Side, sorry, Connor's right here, and he's my cameraman. Connor trains West Side Conjugate, I train West Side Conjugate, we're gonna be best friends, we're gonna train together, we're gonna watch Louis Simmons podcast together, blah, blah, blah. Louis Simmons has some great information. He's done a lot of great things for strength and conditioning. But when we get stuck in these echo chambers over and over and over, and that can be to any scale. That can be to um, uh, specificity stuff, to training modalities, to obviously politics, to 
YouTube only, not podcast, this coach, not that coach, to this friend, that friend, this supplement, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the point. But the more we get stuck in these things, the less we begin to learn. Uh, and even if you consider yourself open-minded and you're still learning something, um, you're really holding yourself back. And so I was lucky enough that through podcast YouTube, um, I've talked to, interviewed every coach from every walk of life, from professional sports, NFL, NBA, to Brian Shaw and some of the world's strongest men, Eddie Cohen, some of the best powerlifters, some of the coolest uh, YouTubers and coaches around, Allen, Omar Esau, all these guys. So I've been lucky that I forced, I didn't even, I wasn't cognizant of it, but I was forced to not be in an echo chamber because I'm getting feedback from everywhere, right? I trained with a bunch of West Side guys, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and for the long run, you're gonna need that for your health and as a coach. So I think you ask more training personally, but training at others, being a coach, that's gonna help too because all programming is, all coaching is, all life is, is having the biggest toolbox you can and then being self-aware enough and being hopefully thoughtful enough when to apply those tools. There's a time for some bands and chains in a raw powerlifters thing. There might be some time for a powerlifter to do some cardio. There might be a time for a powerlifter that wants to be their strongest when they're 40, do this for a long time, to not touch a barbell. Some of you might call me crazy, and some of you, you know, people that are maybe stuck in an echo chamber are saying, well, I need to squat bench and dead if I want to be good at squat bench and dead. I'm not disagreeing. But if you're trying to live for 10, 20, 30 years, have a happy life, and not just a really good three months or three years of squatting heavy, and then be broken the rest of your life, you're gonna have to open your eyes and just kind of open your eyes. Um, and I think uh, uh, Joe's a great example of that, doing multiple sports, training in different modalities. Uh, and then he surrounds himself by really good coaches and really open-minded people. So you guys are in the right place to keep learning. Um, always learn, always, always respect the answer. It depends. Um, we can keep going. It's not, as, it's not as specific and not as, we're not as snowflakey as you think, but there are a lot of different tools, a lot of different things. Um, it's pretty basic, but you gotta get a big understanding. We gotta get this overview of everything we're doing uh, to really get far and uh, to honestly, have fun and figure out why you're doing these things. And that's that's gonna be the answer long run. Yeah, I think just to piggyback off that, like I'm always skeptical, or not skeptical, but like of people who are like the, this guy, you know what I mean? Or like the power lifter yeah. when it's like, as a coach, like you said, like you wanna have as many tools in the toolbox as possible. You know, you wanna be able to use them at the right time. But like Mike and I were talking earlier, like we're in this for the long term. Like we're, I think we're way bigger than just strength training. You know what I mean? Like we're individuals, we have so many different facets to ourselves. and. If we want to be doing this to our 60s, 70s, you, you got to figure out like that there's going to be different seasons and different valleys that you're going to go through. Like he said, like there may be time where we don't touch a barbell for a long time, but like some people probably aren't okay with that or they're, they're afraid to do that. But that's probably what's holding a lot of people back in their training and in life. We can keep going, but uh, you know, I like this guy, so it's good to actually be able to talk to you. Appreciate it, man. Maybe then. we'll play some video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll push it up, dude. Yeah, I'm down. Oh my God. Gosh, what is that? What's in there? Chicken. <laughs> you like chicken? Yes, you're, I like steak. No one else is here, <laughs> and you're hanging out by the chicken. Smart it smells lady. good. <laughs> like mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. I like mac and cheese. You like mac and cheese? Yeah. You want more? <laughs>